Hey everyone, today we are going to be going through what I personally feel are the best ColourPop palettes ever, ranking my ColourPop palettes, and showing you my top 10 ColourPop palettes, basically. So, if you want to see my top 10, just keep watching. I did do a video talking about the ColourPop palettes that I am in love with from 2020, but since we're in 2021, I thought I would just do my entire ColourPop collection, go through them, and go through my top 10 and rank them. And yes, if you're wondering, that is a cat. Brat. At number 10, so ranked at the bottom, we have the Disney and ColourPop Cosmetics Frozen 2 Palette Elsa Palette. This palette's stunning. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. I do really love Frozen. It's Frozen. <laughs> Frozen, it's one of my favorite movies and Frozen 2 is very good as well and then you open up it does come with a mirror and I mean the packaging alone is stunning but this color story is unique I love the mix of this blue with like dark reds and burgundies and then you have like a nice transition shade that's like a nice brown you do have a lot of shimmers and metallics and then you have a pressed glitter which a lot of people aren't into pressed glitters which is fine i personally don't use them either i'd rather not risk my eyes so i just personally love this palette for the color story and that's why i would say it's number 10 it's not my absolute favorite palette that i get a ton of use out of but i do really love this color story and i love the vibes this palette gives and yes you guys probably will have to deal with my cat being in the background because he loves being in the background. At number nine, we have the Hello Kitty and ColourPop Snow Day palette or something like that. What is it called? Snow Much Fun. Okay, cute. First of all, the packaging is stunning. And then when you open it, it doesn't come with a mirror, but that's okay because you have really cute Hello Kitty packaging. I vividly remember... Like, I have this one memory of Hello Kitty where I remember watching this theme song as a kid. Hello Kitty, play with us today with all your friends. Na 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 na. That's all I remember, but I do remember it. And then this is the color story. So basically, you have like, if you go down, you have three rows of looks basically. So you could do like a natural peachy look, you could do a purpley look, or you do like a rosy pink look. I like this palette a lot. It reminds me of the Kylie Cosmetics Stormy palette, which is one of my all-time favorite color stories. So I do really like this palette. The reason why it's low on the list is because the shimmers aren't metallic. They're kind of sheer, which I would have preferred if they were much more metallic. But I do personally really like this color story, and I think this palette is very nice. At number eight, we have Strawberry Shake, which is a gorgeous, like, strawberry colored palette you have these gorgeous strawberry like pinky red tones but then you also have some natural shades you have this like peachy shade and then you have a dark reddish toned brown and a deeper red which i love i also really really like berry fine it's just a beautiful orangey peach that i think goes good with these reddish tones this is honestly one of my favorites which can be surprising because usually i'm someone who loves just bright colors but i am a sucker for like raspberry strawberry eyeshadows and i just love pairing like browns that are red tone with these like raspberry shades at number seven we have the color pop and sailor moon collaboration palette if you didn't know i love sailor moon more than anything even more than makeup it just means the entire world to me this is my collection currently it's a bit of a mess but that is currently my little sailor moon collection this palette is mainly ranked here because of the fact it's sailor moon and i love it but also i love that this palette although it looks like it would be more subdued it's not these shades are very pigmented and rich in color I'm not a fan of the first row just because it is so natural and boring, but the rest of the shades are absolutely stunning. This palette is pretty. I do wish they would have done something different for the packaging than this sort of, like, gimmicky packaging, but it's fine. But I do really like this palette, but it is mainly higher up because of the fact that it's Sailor Moon. At number six, we have ColourPop Mint To Be. Another favorite of mine. I absolutely adore this palette. As soon as I saw this palette, I immediately had to get it. I just love these minty green tones. Like, I love how 
they're blue but they're also green and I just am in love with this palette. I love the variety of mattes. I like how you have a super dark matte but then you also have like a lot of shimmers to go with it as well. I think it is just the perfect mint color story and I'm very excited to see what else ColourPop comes out with. I mean ColourPop has some really good formulas and this is definitely one of my favorite. And number five, we have Lilac You A Lot. If you're new here, purple is my favorite color, so of course this had to be in my top five. It is one of the most stunning purple Night Mahem palettes I've ever seen. The shades in this palette are amazing. I do love that you get this like taupey purple so that you could do a more natural look if you wanted, but then you have this like lilac -y pink you have this other like lavender and then you have these dark rich purples and then you also have these stunning shimmers with it i'm absolutely in love with this palette fluff is my favorite shimmer it's just this really really pretty purple if it would focus it's just so so stunning i love how pigmented it is and i just I love how this palette has a lot of versatility in it for a nine pan palette. I will always recommend this until the day I die. Number four, we have the ColourPop Whatever palette. This palette is just a really, if I could open it, a really pretty like reddish toned palette. It's like reddish browns. I love this for me. This is like an everyday palette. I don't personally like doing like super natural looks for me. I want to do something burgundy or like really a really really warm warm like mustardy brown or you know just something different and this palette has it all for me it does come with a press glitter which again use to your own distress discretion it is a really pretty press glitter but again i don't typically use them i just would rather not risk my eyes so i ignore that shade but the rest of them are stunning i love this palette so much i just think it has such a unique color story i don't really have any other palettes like it i love that it has like beautiful red tones but like they're more burgundy and then there's kind of like they're kind of like brownie red i don't know i just really like this one and number three we have the star wars the mandalorian color pop the child palette cutest packaging ever i love the mandalorian so having little grogu there is just amazing but this color story is it honestly these top three palettes are all tied because i love them so much this is just so stunning and i would highly recommend it i love the green tones in this i love the browns which is so surprising i typically do not like brown eyeshadows but here i am i love the browns i love this stunning gold it has a hint of green to it and then i love right hand mando is just a stunning shade i love all these shades so much and honestly i'm debating getting a backup of it because i do love this color story so so much i think this palette is so versatile and it's just such a unique color story i've never seen anything quite like it and i mean like the packaging so cute like look at it look at it at number two we have the at forest site raw beauty christie and color pop palette Another palette that is just absolutely stunning. Beautiful warm tones, you have jewel tones, you have two shimmers, and then you have this beautiful sequin black with this gorgeous like fiery glitter specks in it. This palette is definitely tied with Baby Yoda. I just love them so much. So they are both like ranked the same. I just think they're so fun. And I mean, this palette, I absolutely adore. I love that there's greens, there's blues you have like this beautiful like aubergine like purpley red and then you have this like darker brown brownie red and then you have all of these like natural shades chanterelle is definitely one of my favorites it's such a beautiful orangey yellow way more on the orange side and then i love how they're mainly matte shades and then you have two shimmers that really can go with any of the other eyeshadows in this look it's just such a stunning palette and I'm so happy with it and I think there are so many eye look varieties that you could do with it. And the champion coming in at number one is the Colourpop Fade Into Hue palette. This palette is just such an overall good palette. It's definitely like a rainbow palette but you have a ton of different 
color formulas. So you do have pressed glitters, which, you know, I'm not going to bark about. It happens. I just ignore them. You have a ton of mattes. You have shimmers. You have metallics. Like, you have everything you could want. You have a purple row, a blue row, a green row, a yellow row, an orange row, and then, like, a pinky row. There isn't, like, a red row, which I'm fine with. I like this, like, raspberry red more than, like, a traditional red, so I'm totally down for that. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite palettes ever, so it's definitely my number one favorite ColourPop palette. I just love this formula. I love all the shades, and I love that it's an affordable, like, bright rainbow palette, and you get so many shades. You have so many look options with this palette. Like, you could easily do, like, a blue and purple look, a green and blue look, like, a yellow look. Like, you have so many options, and personally... That's why it's at number one. I just think it's an amazing palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do. Go follow my Instagram and TikTok, Make It by Tasha XO, and I'll see you in the next one.